again, we'd like to talk about reports, and more importantly, we're going to talk about sensor reports because sensor statuses and sensor history is important to regulatory inspectors, but more importantly, just for record keeping purposes. So again, we're going to click on Menu, click on Reports, go to Environmental, and we're going to talk about these three areas, sensor history, sensor history by period, and sensor status. The one that's that most people are used to in all the other type of ATG systems is sensor status. So this is the status of the sensor currently installed and where it is from an alarm perspective. So right now I have two sensors, an STP sump regular and super, and they're both in normal state. If there was an alarm, you would see that alarm condition and it would state it right here. If you hit the print button, it would give you that report. So I'm gonna use a breadcrumb here and I'm gonna use this pull down and I'm gonna go backwards and I'm gonna use sensor history. This is historical data that we've been collecting on the sensor alarms. This is important because if you had a regulatory inspector, he may want to see the history of what your sensors were doing over time. Again, you can print this out any time. If you, again, if you use the actions button, you can select a range of when you want that report. So again, it can be based on these, these criterias. And then the last one is by period. This allows you to get reports based on a specific period. This is common because there are some states that require that your reports be every 30 days, not monthly. So this allows you in the setup function to set by period up every 30 days so your report reflects that regulatory requirement. Again, you can print this report whenever needed.